welcome back to my channel TA, TA. today you guys I'm gonna be doing one of those I tried following blanks and makeup tutorial videos I'm gonna be trying to follow a tutorial of youtuber by the name of Yuki I just subscribed to her um, a couple months ago and she does like these really pretty and colorful makeup looks on her channel and a few days ago March 5th she posted a tutorial called the most extra AF makeup look I've ever done. Judging by the thumbnail, that's a lot. That's a lot. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that, but I'm sure gonna try. And this video is 15 minutes long. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I hope you guys enjoy it. At the end, let me know how I did. And we're just gonna jump right into the video. <laughs> Before. Hi, my name is Yuki, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a little bit different in that the eye look I'm going to be doing is inspired by an imaginary eyeshadow palette. Yes, you heard that correctly. I came across a post by someone who's really talented who goes by the name of Rachel C. Makeup where she took a photo of a campaign from a company's launch and she imagined up this eyeshadow palette and just digitally applied eyeshadow and also lipstick to this photo and it looked bombed, okay? Not bomb, bombed. And she calls it the Mount Olympus palette and she basically just created it in her mind, put the colors together. The way everything is coordinated and the way it looks, you would think that it was a real eyeshadow palette. The palette colors were chosen based on Greek mythology and I think she also said they were inspired by certain paintings it's definitely a breath of fresh air because we're used to seeing all these warm palettes and unicorn and mermaid palettes and it's just like we need we need something new you know what i mean somebody needs to snatch her up she make make her the creative director or something collaborate with her on a palette just do something but if this palette was real i would snatch it up with the speed of that yeah i'm gonna try to bring to life this digital software created beautiful eye look using the eyeshadow colors that i already have so just wish me luck <laughs> you know cool, i'm gonna need it <laughs> so i've already done one eye and a okay so i gotta do my base i just have on primer right now and she wants to jump into the eyes and she already got on foundation so i'm gonna go ahead and do my base real quick like my foundation and all that stuff give me looking together give me together and then i'm gonna come back and work on the eyes it looks nice okay so back to the video other eye to prime my eyes i'll be using the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer i don't have that i'm gonna be using um ella girl pro concealer in the color fawn in the shade c12 i like using this for my eyelids because when my eyelids can get a bit oily and because this concealer is so drying it kind of gets rid of the need for setting the concealer with the... and you'll see why in a little bit so i'm gonna sit mine oh i'm gonna do that anyway i'm gonna do that anyway because that's how i am with uh this nika k okay all of my stuff well the majority of my products came from the beauty supply store so the powder that i'm going to be using to set my eyes is the nika k i think it's a translucent powder in dark yeah nika k translucent powder in dark but i don't know what kind of dark this is this look like um casket dust 
I'm gonna need my camera to focus on me too. Like, I'm, all, I'm the only person sitting here. What is you doing? What is you doing back there, baby? All over the place, baby. So to help it be more pigmented, I'm not going to set it with a setting powder. I'm going to pack on my transition color onto those areas that crease, especially right there. You see that? You see all in there? Quite a few people have done this, but I never tried it until I did the I Tried Following Nikki Tutorials makeup video. And I noticed that the, the eyeshadows were coming up much more pigmented. So that's why I'm going to try this. And I think I'll probably be doing this from now on just because... You know, you know, your girl loves color. I love me some color. I'm gonna go into the Morphe 35B palette. I'm gonna take this red color right here, blend out those creases first, and then go right in with the color right where my creases are. And if you notice, I'm only setting the areas. Um, Jacqueline, 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 Jacqueline palette doesn't have a color like that. First of all, it looks like neon pink. going all over the place and into the brow I never get to be this reckless with my brows so I'm very excited <laughs> I'm taking it in a little further too towards the news with my MAC 217 brush and this super beauty I have eyeshadow LA colors. called hookah matte eyeshadow really this came from oh yeah that one's more that one's closer this came from um I believe Dollar General or Family Dollar so I'm gonna use that just to go, whatever, do what she's the doing. Crease area, it's like right in here. And I'm extending it up just a little bit, a little bit, uh, just a little bit, a, a little bit, uh, just a little bit, a, okay. Pat this on first and then blend it in. And I thought I'd just zoom in on one eye and really focus on this for you guys because it's been a while since I've done one of these type of tutorials where we just focus on one eye and really you know, come in, I really take a look at things. You know what I mean? Really concentrating hookah right in here. And once I've concentrated it out here and in here. I'm just okay, so I brought the camera in a little closer so you guys see what I'm doing. Um, or how it looks, or how bad it looks. Okay, so she's using a small lip brush. I'm gonna use a small black facility brush. I got this from a set off of eBay for like um, $5. I think it had like 20, 20 or 22 brushes that came with it. If I can find the link, I'll put it down in the description box. So I'm gonna take the Elegra Pro Concealer and Bond and carve out my crease. It off. I'm gonna go into this Suva Beauty eyeshadow called Resort. It is so pretty. It's this very shimmery cranberry color i love this i'm gonna spray the brush with some mac 6 plus just look at that Ooh, i really don't know what it is but bright colors make me so happy you guys have no idea oh shoot okay make sure to leave a little bit of space on the um inner tear duct area okay so i think i'm almost ready and matter of fact looking at the color that she has i have a color from a Nika K palette that I just bought because they were so pretty and they're so cheap. These little radiant, uh, metallic radiant eye palettes. These things are so freaking nice. Like the color is so pigmented. Like, oh my god. And Jacqueline's palette is a color like that too. It's called Cran Apple. Still, still this was $2.99. That palette was $40. So I'm gonna take a small brush, another small, like a flat concealer brush, just like the one I had, and I'm gonna go into that palette with that and do as Yuki did. Oh my goodness. Go back and kind of feather it out a little bit. Okay. Wow! Oh my gosh! I'm 
so excited. I am so excited. Okay. Okay. So next. For this outer aspect here, I'm gonna go back in with my MAC 217 brush and Pupa. Oh, sure not to cover okay. this. Give me a job, you learn this stuff, baby. See how it's already giving you a gradient effect? You see it? You see that? Make sure to take a little bit of that foiled cranberry color and just kind of give yourself a little sliver right there at the top. Depending on how much of that dark brown you use, you may not need to do this part, but I'm just going to show you guys a little trick. I'm going to use my Sigma Waterline Liner Brush E17, and I'm going to dip it into this black eyeshadow called Corrupt, and this is by Makeup Geek. I've shown you guys this trick before, but... It okay, so I'm going to take a small brush. This one came from Walmart. It was in a, um, a little set that they have. It's like $4.88, and I think it comes with either 4 or 5 five four or five brushes and this is one of the brushes that was in there and i'm going to use the black out of the jacqueline hill palette which is called abyss and let's see what she does to kind of just you know, elevate your cut crease and i'm going to actually take it so and elevate the perimeter my cut, of the cut crease just outside of it and that's why you want to use a really small brush like this and i think i okay hold on hold on showed you guys this in my cut crease hack video too and then you can also drag it out so that way it gives the effect that this color was placed there before the cut crease was done i didn't take it out this way because if you look at the color she doesn't have the darkest color on the um outer portion of the half cut crease i'm gonna use a sigma small tapered blending e45 brush and blend it. i'm gonna be using a small um blending brush this can be beautiful as well I believe this is a Nikki K brush. So y'all, y'all be sweep on Nikki K. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of that black from the Jacqueline Hill palette and uh, tap it off and blend it like she's doing. So next I'm gonna okay. use the Artist Couture and Jackie Ina Le Bronze Highlighter. I ain't got that. I wipe off that cranberry I know color, I got And I'm gonna use my same I know I got Sigma 5 brush. And I'm tapping into the LeBron's highlighter. Okay, there we go. And taking this down. And rip. Okay, but I got a gold pigment from the beauty supply. So I'm gonna take this color. This is baked copper. And I'm gonna take a small one like this. It's a small flat brush and some of that pigment. And I'm just gonna place it in the middle like she did. Okay. Using that same Sigma lip color right there. And I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use that same brush like she did. Spray my brush with my NYX setting spray. Think this came from the beauty supply as well. But I know you can get NYX like pretty much anywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna do as she did. Boy. Boy. Okay. Yuki. Alright, I see you. Do you see me? <laughs> Y'all look what I did. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Back with that little brush that I used with that light pink shade. And right in the middle. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why when I'm doing these type of videos, y'all, I cannot talk loud. Like, I don't know, it's so weird. I cannot talk loud at all. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to start screaming. Um, I'm gonna take this big brush and just some of that fallout off. Just that on my face. Alright, so boom. Okay, so let's stop here, but I have to do a little bit of Oh, the green, blue. Um this only place I know I got this palette up there in top of the corner. I'm gonna take this small brush. I mean that's it. It's a really small brush. And just kinda go in. Da -da -da -da. 
and I'm gonna spray it with my brush and put it right there. Mm. I cannot believe I did this, y'all. All right. Get the color that I want. Here you can see that line light is more on the perimeter and Pegasus is more concentrated toward the tear duct area. Turns out you don't really need that darker shimmery blue from the Morphe 35B palette. Just you know, disregard. Just, you know. I do the rest of my makeup. Apply my concealer underneath the eyes, bridge of nose, no deal. Set that and we'll come back and we'll go to the national. We are back. I'm going to go ahead and okay, so I'm gonna go do the same contour under eye, my other eye, and then I'll be back. I look like little Mo. Hmm. I leave it. Hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so next, what it is lately, the lashes have been really hard for me to get on for whatever reason. Girl, it's tell me about it. When you're looking at this picture, very rosy editorial type of cheeks, but I think I'm going to turn it down a little bit just because I don't know, it's just how I'm feeling today. MAC Raisin Blush, and this is my Sigma Dark Angle Contour. I like using this for blush. You guys know I'm not really using a blush, so I don't really use a lot of like blush products in my videos. For highlighter, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Color. I don't have any blush, <laughs> so I'm gonna do take a shadow. I don't know how I feel about blush. Oh my god, this blush! Ooh, okay. I don't know how I feel about blush, but okay. Mm. Oh, Move that. And next, she says she's gonna highlight with that. I don't have that, but I do have a wet and wild. That's what you're saying, wet and wild. Wet and wild highlighter in the color Precious Pearls. Let me see how it looks. I think it's a little too bright. But I'm gonna see. I'm gonna take this Ruby Kisses fan brush. I don't know. trying to blow this highlighter off my face. Oh my god, it was a lot. Okay. Okay. Ain't that bad, I guess. I think it's a little light. I feel like it's a little light for me. But this is the only highlighter that I have. And I did contour off camera, by the way. Let's contour the cheeks a little bit. It's coming together. The look is coming together. I don't have a green lipstick, and I don't really think green lipstick would look good on me anyway. So I figured I might as well use the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Requiem. And I think I'm gonna. Okay, I don't have that. Of course, I don't have that. But I do have um a blueish lipstick I'm like 
don't like it because I don't have that color. I don't even have something similar to that color. I'm gonna pop this in the center. Pegasus alone is good. You know what I mean? Um, mm, mm, I'm gonna go back in the reckoning. I'm look fresh. I just got a little too excited and took it out a little too far. Is this more Xenon you know, Girl of the 21st Century? Or like zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom. My supernova girl. All right, guys, this is the finished look. Rachel, if you see this, I hope I did your vision justice. This is definitely one of the most extra looks that I have done. Okay, so you guys, here is the final look. Hold on, I need to take this off. All right, you guys, so this is the completed look. I went ahead and changed the lip color, as you can see. I wasn't feeling that blue i gotta go somewhere look i got makeup on my freaking shirt i don't wear foundation y'all so i don't uh, like this is just too much for me okay this is too much i want to take this off i'm probably gonna end up taking it off but i am really excited like about how this came out i love how this came out like the eyes everything like everything just looks so nice like oh my gosh i can't believe i did this this makes me want to cry like <laughs> I've been struggling so long with makeup and then for this stuff to come out of the beauty supply store like this is freaking crazy so I don't actually have to spend all of my coins just to look pretty I mean I'm already cute but just to buy like the nicer like high end stuff this is just the biggest thing that I purchased recently I've never spent that much money on something besides hair which is like hair you got to spend that much money on like you, just, you got to but like makeup wise is the most i've ever spent which was 38 dollars but 40 with tax so 40 dollars probably gonna do someone else i think i want to do the queen herself nikki tutorials girl <laughs> nikki, be nikki um jackie Ina. i'm thinking um this girl that i'm subscribed to her name is uh Katie Michael is Katie McKayla. I don't know how you say her last name, but she's really, really good. She has hooded eyes too, so I'm sure I could learn a few things from her. But I'm just I'm shocked, y'all. I am so shocked at how this looks. Like I just cannot stop looking at myself. I know it's pretty cocky, but dang, I look good. I'm gonna take some pictures. I'm gonna post a picture of this look every single day on Instagram. Like I'm not even kidding. Oh, speaking of Instagram, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I don't think I've said that yet. Everything is at Pinups and Pearls. I'll put myself in the description bar. I'll put it on the screen, too. Um, and I think that's it. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!